Welcome to Who Smarted. We're trying to reach as many people as we can with our free podcast and free curriculum. And really, nothing is more helpful than you telling a friend about our show and leaving a great review at Apple Podcasts. And if you want to get our free curriculum and home study guide for every episode, sign up today at www.whosmarted.com. Shout out to Shelly for listening to every episode in Florida. Thanks for listening and letting us know how much you enjoy the show and all the great feedback. Like, follow, and comment on Facebook at facebook.com backslash whosmarted, and you might get your own shout out. Now it's time to let out a giggle as you learn all about laughter. All right, we're doing Romeo and Juliet, Act 1, Scene 5. Take it from Oh, Romeo, Romeo, and begin. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not. (laughs) Sorry, sorry. Or if thou wilt not. (laughs) Is there a problem, young Juliet? No, no problem. I'm good. Again, from... Or if thou wilt not. Or if thou wilt not. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) It's just those two words, wilt not. Wilt not. Yes, that's the line. I know. (laughs) But wilt not just sounds funny. Wilt not. I don't think Shakespeare was trying to be funny here. Who? Wilt not Shakespeare? <laughs> Wilt not Shakespeare. Don't you start to, Romeo. You know what? Let's move on to a more serious scene. Act four, scene five. Juliet pretends to be dead. We need Juliet's mother. Let's begin. Oh me, oh me, my child, my only life. Revive, look up. Or I will die with thee. (laughs) Sorry. Revive, look up, or I will die with thee. (laughs) Why is she laughing if she's dead? (laughs) Technically, she's not dead. She's just pretending. But you're right. She shouldn't be laughing. (laughs) I know. I know. I'm sorry. I can't stop. Okay. Okay, I'll stop. Again, Lady Capulet. Revive. Look up. <laughs> I, I can't work like this. Will you stop? <laughs> she will not stop. <laughs> All right, that's it. Scene. 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 Young lady. Yes? This play is a tragedy. If you can't get yourself under control, I'm going to have to replace you. Whoa, whoa. Just a second, theater people. Just people is fine. Got it. Hello, people. I uh, heard some inappropriate laughter. (laughs) And I thought maybe I could help. Be my guest. Excuse me, Juliet. Yes? (laughs) It looks like you're caught in a laughing fit. What about all yous listening? Has that ever happened to you? Where you couldn't stop laughing even though nothing funny was even happening. And the more you try to stop laughing, the harder you laugh. I can't stop laughing! Well, don't worry. It can happen to anyone. But the more you understand what's going on, the quicker you can get yourself under control. It's time for another whiff of science on... Who smarted? Who smarted? Smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science or history? Listen up, everyone. We make smarting lots of fun. But who's smarted? When it comes to hysterical laughing, the first thing you gotta understand is it's all in your head. <laughs> really? Because <laughs> it's my stomach that's killing me. <laughs> that's right. Your brain told your body to react to something funny. And now your stomach muscles are contracting uncontrollably. And so are the muscles in your face. (laughs) And she's turning red. Should we be worried? No, that's perfectly normal. Her breathing is becoming irregular, so she has to work harder to get air. That sounds dangerous. You think that's dangerous? (laughs) Look out! I think I'm gonna pee! So 
someone help her out of that costume? Well, there's a good reason for that, too. When you laugh, your <laughs> abdominal muscles contract, pushing on your bladder, which pushes your pee down. At the same time, the muscles that hold the pee in usually stay contracted. Stop right there. But with all these other muscles contracting and releasing and contracting and releasing, your body can get confused and... <gasps> Okay, that's rehearsal for today. <laughs> okay, smarty pants, this is no joke. But why do funny things do funny things to your body? Have you ever wondered why you sound different when you laugh? Hmm. In fact, right now I want you to think about your own laugh. How would you describe it? Are you a high-pitched siren? <laughs> or a guffar? <laughs> or a wheezer? <laughs> Maybe you're a ha-ha. <laughs> or a... Ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Or maybe you do both? Ho ho ha ha ho ho ha! Then there's the screamer! <laughs> and the dreaded snorter. <laughs> you know it's real when you get a snort out of someone. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Romeo, where fart thou? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you might have noticed that laughing a lot can also push excess air right out your other end, which is why people sometimes fart. Now, be honest, smarty pants. Did the sound of laughter <laughs> or other sounds make you laugh a little? And if you did laugh, was it a big, loud laugh? <laughs> or more of a quiet chuckle? <laughs> well, your answer might depend on the answer to another question. Huh? Are you listening to this show by yourself or with other people. It turns out, you're more likely to laugh quietly at something when you're alone <laughs> and laugh louder at the same thing when you're with friends. <laughs> That's because laughing is a great way for humans to bond with each other. I love you. We laugh the most with the people we know best, like friends or family. <laughs> Come on, Dad. But sharing laughter with a stranger can also help you make a new friend. <laughs> <laughs> to find out how laughing can make you more popular, stick around. All right, see if you can guess what scientists believe may have caused the first moment of laughter between humans. Was it A, a close call with danger, B, a loud fart, or C, slipping on ice? Oh! Well, I'm not going to argue that falling down or passing gas aren't funny. But if you guessed A, a close call with nature, ah! you're right. Unga, unga, unga. Hey, Brian, thanks for hunting with me today. My pleasure, Pete. I can't wait to eat the deer we caught. Hey, you hear that? Hear what? Oh, oh it's a saber tooth. Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> I can't. I can't run anymore. Quick! Uh, hide in the cave! It's approaching. That was close. Yeah. I thought we were lunch. <laughs> sound we just made. Oh, I have I have no idea. <laughs> oh, me have no idea. Ow. Oh, it makes my sides hurt, but I feel like I feel like we're better friends now, Brian. Thanks, Pete. I feel closer to you too. High five. All right, smarty pants. So maybe there were a caveman named Pete and Brian high-fiving each other, but laughter has definitely been around for ages. And it's not just humans who get all the laughs. Sure, you've heard of the laughing hyena. But have you ever heard of laughing rats? Or dogs? It's true. Just like humans, many animals laugh as well when they are at play with each other. Um, excuse me, Mr. Narrator? Oh, hey, Juliet. Are your giggles all gone? Yes, finally. Sheesh, that was embarrassing. So what happened? You said it was all in my brain? That's right. Something registered as funny in your brain. 
and your brain has a detector, which is always on the lookout for funny. A detector? That's right, a detector. For some reason, your brain fixated on the words will. No, don't say it. I finally stopped laughing. Okay, but the way it works is this. When you first detected that the words mmm and mmm were funny, the message spread quickly throughout the different regions of your brain. Sort of like this. Attention, shoppers. We've got something funny. Breaking news. Reports have come in of a funny on the loose. He shoots and he scores. We've got a funny one. The funny has been identified and documented. Thank you. Okay, but how come I couldn't stop laughing? Ah, what do you think, listeners? Why do you keep laughing even though the funny part is over? Hmm. Well, it's the same reason hearing someone else laugh makes you laugh. Whoa. You begin to find your own laughter funny. And once you're in laugh mode, everything becomes funny. Oh, wow. Mystery solved. Actually, laughter isn't really a mystery. It's science. (laughs) Funny stuff triggers many parts of your brain, including the parts that experience emotions. From there, your brain sends signals to your body, causing the muscles between your ribs to contract and force air out of you. This is often accompanied by your own unique sound of laughter. If your brain continues to discover humor, it will signal even more parts of your brain, and your laugh gets stronger. And, BT dubs, harder to stop. Exactly. What do you think, Smarty Pants? I don't know. Can you guess why we seem to laugh more in places we shouldn't, like school or church? Quiet down now. Or why you tend to laugh when someone cries or gets hurt. Oh! If you guess that people often laugh to shield themselves from difficult emotions, <laughs> you're right. The problem is that once the funny bone has been triggered, you don't have control. <laughs> and to make matters worse, laughter can be contagious. Right, Romeo? Yep. But did you know that that only happens with real laughter? Ah. Your brain is so good at knowing when laughter is fake that it rarely has an effect on you. Well, that's not funny at all. So if you're going to LOL... You better mean it. All right. Break time's over. Back to act one. Let's begin with Romeo. But soft, what (laughs) light through yonder window breaks. (laughs) What's it now, Romeo? (laughs) But soft. (laughs) But soft. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for listening to Who Smarted. Please tell your friends about the show and let them know new episodes come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's episode, Laughter, was written by Jenna Hoban and voiced by Jenna Hoban, Sheffield Chastain, Kim Davis, Charlotte Cohn, Adam Tex Davis, and yours truly, Jerry Colbert. Technical direction and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted was recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studio. Theme song by Brian Suarez. Lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This has been an Atomic Entertainment production. Who Smarted?